What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to complete a table of solutions to a linear equation. Now, a couple things to point out about this table first is we have uh, basically three sections, right? So we have this X coordinate or X column right here, right? We have your Y coordinate or Y number right here. And then you have your ordered pair, right? X comma Y which we'll be able to figure out from our first two columns, the X column and the Y column, okay? And we can actually already figure out what part of it is because as you can see, uh, these numbers in red, they are given, okay? So we don't have to figure those out. They're already given to us. So if the X coordinate here is given to us, we know the X coordinate in this first row right here, it's a two, right? So we know our X right here is a two. Okay, so all we have to figure out is what our Y number is, right? We have to figure out what this Y coordinate is right here. So how do you do that? Well, it's actually not too bad. All you have to do is take whatever number you're given right here. So it was an X, right? So we're gonna plug it in for the X right here. Okay, and then once we plug it in, then we'll be able to solve for Y right here. Okay, so let me just rewrite this equation down here. So we have y is equal to negative 3 halves times x, right? Because x is what we were given, and it's a 2. So we're going to plug in a 2 for x. And then we have this minus 2 at the end, right? So minus 2, okay? Now, simplifying this, uh, negative 3 halves times 2, well, we can see that this 2 on top and this 2 on the bottom cancel out, right? So then we're just left with negative three right there. Okay, so let's rewrite it right here. So we're gonna have y is equal to negative three, okay, negative three minus two, minus two. Okay, so then negative three minus two is equal to negative five. Okay, so our y coordinate right here is equal to negative five. Okay, so now we know our y coordinate right here is negative five. So that means our y coordinate right here is also negative five. Okay, so not too bad, right? So let's keep going and then I think you'll start recognizing the pattern a little bit easier. All right, now let's move on to this next one right here. Okay, so we don't know what the x coordinate is here, but we do know what the y coordinate is, right? Negative three. Okay, so we're gonna have our ordered pair. So we don't know what the x is, but we know the y is equal to negative three since it's given to us. Okay, so now in this case, since we're given the y coordinate, that means we're gonna plug in negative three for y right here. And then we're gonna to have to figure out what x is, or solve for x, okay? So let's plug in negative three into this equation for y. Okay, and let's write it down here. So this time the y is equal to negative three, right? And then we're gonna set that equal to negative three halves times x, right? We don't know what x is and then minus two. Okay, so let's solve for x right here. Now the first thing you can do is get rid of this minus two, right? And you can do that by adding two on both sides of the equation, okay? So then these twos cancel each other out. And then on this side, we have negative three plus two, which is equal to negative one, okay? So negative one is equal to negative three halves times x, right? Is equal to negative three halves times x. Okay, so now uh, we need to get rid of this fraction, right? And the way you basically undo the fraction is you multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, so here we have negative three halves. So in order to get rid of it, I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which would be negative two thirds. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply by negative two thirds on this side and on this side, negative two thirds. Okay, and let's use a different color. So here, negative three halves and negative two thirds, they're gonna cancel out, so we're just gonna be left with x on this side. Okay, so x, and then that's gonna be equal to, right, equal to this right here, negative two thirds times negative one. Well, two thirds times one is just two thirds, right? And then a negative times a negative is a positive. So here we're gonna have positive two thirds, okay? 
So x is equal to positive 2 thirds. So now we figured out what our x coordinate is right here. So it's positive 2 thirds. Okay, positive 2 thirds. So then your coordinate or your ordered pair right here would be positive 2 thirds comma negative 3. Okay. Now let's do this last one right here. So again, the x coordinate is given to us, right? It's 0. So let's write that in. So for our ordered pair, we know our x coordinate is 0. And then we got to figure out what y is, right? Okay, so this means we're going to plug in 0 for our x term right here. Okay, so we're going to have rewriting the equation. y is equal to negative 3 halves times x, which is 0, right? So times 0, and then minus 2, minus 2. Okay, so negative 3 halves times 0, that's just equal to 0, right? So then we're going to have y is equal to 0 minus 2. And then here, 0 minus 2 is just equal to negative 2. Okay, so y is equal to negative 2, right? So now we know what our y coordinate is right here, negative 2. Okay, so negative 2. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.